Welcome to the Source One podcast. Consider us your source for all things procurement, supply management, and strategic sourcing. Anytime, anywhere. Every company wants to realize cost savings. Unfortunately, many aren't quite equipped to achieve the savings goals they've established. Effort, however aggressive, can't make up for a lack of resources. So how can companies develop more attainable goals? First, they need to assess their procurement operations thoroughly and without bias. A maturity assessment can not only help a company better understand its capabilities, but will provide the basis for improving those capabilities in the future. Source One Director Diego de la Garza has spent years helping companies audit and optimize their procurement teams. Today, he joins the Source One podcast to describe the importance of taking an objective look at procurement's people and processes. Hi, my name is Diego de la Garza. I'm a director at Source One, and I've been here for about eight years now. We're going to talk about readiness for the organization and whether your organization is ready to get the savings. Is your organization ready to get the savings? Although you may be inclined to say yes, or why wouldn't it be, you may be surprised that for a lot of companies, getting savings through the door is a lot harder than they thought. It's not that the savings are impossible or that the marketplace isn't yielding enough value. It is also not a problem with any specific categories. The true issue lies within the organization itself in that the internal structure may not be right to support a comprehensive cost reduction seek and implement type of initiative. Generally speaking, finding savings across categories is not that hard. Depending on the category, communications, marketing, MRO, logistics, etc., and nature of spend, whether that is direct or indirect. A company may use a variety of strategies to optimize costs, typically by conducting strategic sourcing events, benchmarking exercises, engaging with GPOs, or simply by negotiating directly with incumbent suppliers. All viable mechanisms to find real savings. However, issues typically start with implementation. Conducting an isolated event, whether that is full sourcing or three bits and a buy, will likely not uncover the deep issues or limitations of the organization, as one single event may be accommodated with limited frustration by the different departments that would support it such as legal. It's an entity that would be involved with a contract must be executed, so one more contract may not impact their pipeline too drastically. However, the real ambitious savings initiative are those conducted at the corporate level and tend to involve multiple businesses to seek and generate a tangible impact to the bottom line of the company. This is where companies in pursuit of increasing the value of the company within a year or so chase aggressive savings targets, it then requires a procurement organization to orchestrate and coordinate efforts across the company to meet them. The problem is procurement, as well as with the rest of the company, may not have the resources, capacity, processes, tools, or knowledge to number one, identify savings across the board, and number two, more importantly, effectively implement them. The answer, before pursuing an inclusive savings initiative, a mature assessment of the procurement organization should be conducted. Not long ago, our company was engaged to source a multitude of categories and support the implementation of Identify Savings across all their business units. Long story short, not long after our initial data collection had started, we realized the company had deep deficiencies across functional departments and the procurement organization wasn't set up adequately to support the ask. We made a series of transformative recommendations and highlighted multiple risks that would impede savings from being realized. Nevertheless, we asked to proceed with our processes and sourcing strategies and reassure that the company would support us as much as we needed to get those savings realized. It wasn't long after that that an overburdened procurement team and an overwhelmed legal department realized that millions of dollars of identified savings were not going to be implemented on time. Needless to say, we repurposed our efforts and executed on procurement transformation recommendations in order to enable procurement for a much more successful second round. The lesson here, a good fighter may very well win a one-on-one combat, but there are many problems with going into a major battle without bringing the right weaponry. The same happens with executing on ambitious sourcing efforts without knowing the true capabilities of the organization. Risks such as alienating the supplier base, losing savings momentum, overburdening functional departments, and angering stakeholders may have long-term repercussions for the business, let alone missing on the initial objective, which beyond getting savings is about value generation. Next time your company decides to embark on an ambitious cost reduction adventure, think about 
whether the organization is actually trained and ready to sail those waters. You've been listening to the Source One podcast. For more strategic sourcing and procurement insights every day, visit our blog, The Strategic Sorcerer. Want to provide feedback or suggest a topic for a future episode? Let us know at prrequest at sourceoneinc.com. Thanks for listening.